An NYPD sergeant is suspended without pay after police say he threw an object at a suspect fleeing from officers on a scooter. Police say that man died from his injuries last night in the Bronx. CBS 2's Shosh Bedrosian live in Kingsbridge where the community is gathering to remember him. Shosh. Well, it's been a growing vigil all day here, here on 190th Street and Aqueduct Avenue, where members of the community are coming here to pay tribute to this man that died. It was exactly in this spot nearly 24 hours ago where this incident happened, where families were picnicking when this police chase turned deadly. In a matter of seconds, surveillance video captures the moment a fleeing suspect sped down Aqueduct Avenue on the sidewalk on a motorbike when the force of an object thrown at him caused him to lose control. Police say the man that launched the object at the suspect was Sergeant Eric Duran. Duran was a part of a plain clothes buy and bust operation that was working to apprehend 30 year old Eric Dupree for selling narcotics. You know, despite what, what police may say, what the rap sheet may say, but uh, I, I listen, I know a good person when I see one. And he was, a, you know, he was a humble dude. CBS 2 News obtained this photo of the red cooler that was allegedly thrown at Dupree, who soon after lost control of his motorbike, crashing into a vehicle and hit Hitting his head. I gotta be honest, it was wrong. I don't. I feel like the officer, what he did was. Uh, I don't think it's protocol. You know, I, I honestly think um, that there were. You know, if this individual wasn't stopping or wasn't cooperating, I feel like they should have had let him. You know, kind of let him go. At the end of the day, the community is having a difficult time coming to grips with the way Dupree died. They're honoring his life in the exact spot where he fell off of his bike. It's now a place filled with candles, photos, and emotions. He was a humble dude. He, he always looked out for the neighborhood. Neighbor Eric De Jesus said residents are in shock over the incident, as some witnessed it while picnicking with their family. One of the ladies that witnessed it don't even want to come out. She hasn't came out all day. I couldn't barely sleep last night just thinking about it. Like, wow, you know, I just, just to know that I speak, you know, spoke to him kind of a couple hours ago. And then to know that now he's gone, it, it's a little, you know, it's, it's, it's a little impactful, kind of like a little traumatic, if you will. We spoke with the mother of Eric Dupree's two children. She didn't want to speak with us on camera at the time, but she's calling this incident an abuse of power by police. We did learn that the attorney general's office opened an investigation into his death in the Kingsbridge section of the Bronx. I'm Shosh Pedrosian, CBS 2 News. Okay, Shosh, thank you.